Your North Iowa Bulls return to the ice this Friday and Saturday to close out 2021 and ring in 2022. Hi fans, Austin Drowdy with your Bulls Weekly for Friday, December 31st, 2021 and Saturday, January 1st, 2022. North Iowa is back on ice this weekend for the first time since their holiday break. Here's what happened last time the Bulls were on the ice in Bismarck the week before Christmas. The Bismarck Bobcats snagged a sweep on the 17th and 18th, winning 5-3 on Friday and 5-1 in Saturday's game. Friday's game saw Tyler Bersini earn his first Bulls goal and Jack Campion his first North American Hockey League assist. Jack Campion was talking to me. We were like, yeah, let's get it to Dahmer. Dahmer will either take a one-timer or pass it out to the D. And then the draw came and Bismarck's guys were not even there and the puck just squirted right to me and I shot it and the guys were celebrating and I didn't even really know it went in, so it was cool. Here's your latest look at the standings in the Central Division. The Bulls exit the break in third place in the division. Austin and Minot are tied at the top with 35 points. Check out that team in fifth place, though. The St. Cloud Norsemen have the best percentage in the Central Division by virtue of only having played 24 games. As the Bulls and Bruins get set to match up this weekend, here's a look at the matchup. North Iowa checks in with a record of 14, 10, 1, and 2, having lost seven of their last eight. Keep an eye on Byron Hartley in this matchup, though. He's got four goals in his five games this year against the Bruins. On the other side, the Austin Bruins come in at 16, 10, 1, and 2. They won three of their last four before the break, and their player to watch for this weekend is Sutter Mazzotti with eight points against the Bulls. He leads the team head-to-head. -head. Friday's game is set for a 7.05 p.m. puck drop in Austin, Minnesota, while the Saturday game right here at the Mason City Arena gets underway at 7.30 p.m. All the coverage for you is on Hockey TV and the North Iowa Bulls radio feed on Mixler. And don't forget to tune in to our social media throughout the weekend as we give you full coverage on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Saturday night's game is our New Year's tie-dye tilt against the Austin Bruins, featuring admission discounts if you wear your tie-dye to the game. We'll also have tie-dye hoodies available for sale at Brutus's Locker Room, sponsored by the Christie Door Store. We'll also have specials on beer and Bud Light Retro Seltzers and a post-game party skate from 10 to 11 o'clock after the game on Saturday. Also, congratulations to North Iowa alumnus Campbell Sykos on his commitment to Minnesota State University in Mankato. He's the 11th North Iowa alumnus from the Bulls' NA3HL era to make it to the NCAA Division I ranks and second this season after Lucas Wallen. All of the details on Saturday's game and Campbell's commitment to Minnesota State are online at NorthIowaBulls.com. That's also where you can get tickets for Saturday's game and any upcoming North Iowa Bulls home game. And don't forget to get your kids 14 and under signed up for our Sunday Fun Day clinics. Those start Sunday morning here at the Mason City Arena and go January 2nd, 9th, and 16th here in downtown Mason City. You can get signed up through the Mason City Toros. All the details are online at MasonCityToros.com for that. The Bulls wrap up 2021 with a game on the road and begin 2022 with a game at home this weekend against the Austin Bruins. I'm Austin Drowdy with your Bulls Weekly from the Mason City Arena.